Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. Well, this isn't Mark Van de Wettering, that's my gnome that I keep on my electronic shelf. My workbench and all my sundry weird things, pieces of dead Wi-Fi phones, pliers, soldering irons, all the crazy things. But today, I got home and I had a bit of a headache, but I wanted to try this out. Yesterday I posted something about uh, using a real-time clock that was uh, powered by... Um, by uh, the I2C bus, and that's what, let's see if I can sharpen this up a little bit. That's what this little kit is. This is, comes from SparkFun. It's a very tiny little kit. And the one next to it is actually a little D to A converter. Uh, it uses a microchip MCP4725, if my memory serves me right. And it's wired now to the serial control lines, are the I2C serial bus or SPI or whatever the appropriate designation is on this rather old Arduino. You can see it's a 168 based Arduino. And I got wired up, soldered in some jumper pins on that, plugged into my board, wrote some code, and over here you can see that I've got a sine wave. So what I did was I just made a table. Uh, the D to A converter is actually a 12 bit D to A. Uh, ranges from 0 to 5 volts and so I made a table that just had sign uh, sign values scaled appropriately uh, 64 of them so there's 64 versions of this it's generating about a 2 kilohertz tone I think uh, the spacings on the uh, on the uh, oscilloscope sorry I am, did say I had a headache and I'm somewhat tired uh, are spaced at 5 milliseconds, so uh, there's probably uh, 10 or so steps inside each each one of those. If we spun this up, you can see the steps maybe a little bit clearer, and you can see that it's actually flipping back and forth. So this is more or less running out flat out at the speed of the I2C bus. It uh, It's updating basically just as fast as it possibly can, and uh, it generates a nice looking sine wave. So what am I going to use this for? Well, um, if you remember a few days ago, a couple weeks ago, whatever it was, I had a beacon controller that was designed, or a beacon transmitter that was designed by Hans Summers, G0 UPL. And uh, it used a voltage input as a modulator input. So I can now generate arbitrary waveforms uh, using this uh, for that beacon controller. So the idea is to take either an Arduino or some other uh, microcontroller. I have one of the TI launch pads sitting around as well. And a couple of these little boards, maybe combining the real-time clock and the D to A converter and using those to drive the beacon. And that'll be about it. Anyway, well, this is just a brief progress report. I like to sort of update these little baby steps that I take in terms of electronics. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in this project, stay tuned and hopefully um, I'm going to actually be fairly busy for a couple of weeks, but uh, in, in two or three weeks, I hope to get this actually hooked to a real antenna. And uh, in the meantime, I'm sort of hoping that the gnome will continue to make progress uh, while I'm sleeping tonight. Hope you're all having a good day. This has been Mark Van Wettering of the Brainwagon Blog.